What's going on everybody? So uh, what are we doing today? Well we're going to be installing a fuel surge tank on a 2015 Evo X. How Here is everything you get in the box, all supplied lines, wiring, nuts, bolts, the surge tank itself, relays, and fuse holder. Everything you need to install this kit on your 2015 Evo X. First things first, we gotta get back here in the trunk. Um, you gotta remove the seat bottom um, so you can get to your fuel pump. And then you also need to remove some hardware here in the back of the trunk. So we need to remove that bolt on the washer tank. We need to remove the lines that go onto that bracket in between the battery. Um, there's a hole there that'll be a new bolt and then we need to install a stud on that bracket right there for the uh, fuel pump, or sorry, the surge tank holder. All right, so we got the uh, surge tank in place. Fits really good back here. Just uh, Allen heads, a uh, little spacer on this side, and then back there is the stud assembly we used. Um, now mine didn't come with the spacer, but I have a bunch of random plastic spacers and stuff like that, so I had something. Uh, hopefully your guys has come with one. Now it's time to run all the lines, get to the fuel pump, and start getting all that fun stuff put together. Alright, so next up we're inside the car. Uh, we're going to remove the panel that covers up the fuel pump and all the uh, connections there. So that is this plate under your rear seat. Pretty simple to get off. You'll just take a pick tool, some kind of pry tool, get an edge started. Now I've already had this thing off a few times. We did a fuel pump on it a while back. Um, so it comes off a little bit easier. Some might have a little bit more of a trouble getting it off uh, And then your next thing is you're gonna want to take This line off um, You'll just have to take and use a tool same thing kind of pry it up You have to disconnect like that you'll pull it off. You'll definitely want a rag You're gonna leak some fuel out uh, most likely even even with running the fuel pump or running the car and then taking the fuel pump fuse out, there's probably still gonna be a little bit of fuel in this line. Um, it's bound to happen. So we're gonna get that off and then we'll start running the other lines. All right, so the first line we're gonna be installing, it's gonna be this line right here. It's got a 180 degree and fitting on that side. 
and then it's got a um, quick disconnect which you have to install this and the clamp it's a little bit of a pain to get that in there uh, but it goes and it says you can attach it to any of the three black and fittings on top of the surge tank so there's three black one green the green is the feed line so the pump inside the surge tank that'll be the feed line to the engine this line supplies fuel to the surge tank and this will connect to the fuel pump um, the fuel pressure or yeah the fuel pump out of the stock fuel tank Okay, so your next line is this one. It's got a 90 on one end. It has a straight and fitting on the other. You have to install this quick disconnect fitting into this first, and then this will attach to the green port on the top of the surge tank. Alright, next up is this hose. So we got those two hoses done. This one here is for the fuel return line. Um, so we got a 180 degree fitting on one end, a straight and fitting on the other, and then they supply a quarter barb fitting to go into the straight. We'll take and mount this to the surge tank, run it in there, hook it up to the rubber line that is for the fuel return. Pretty straightforward, huh? So the next line is gonna have a 180, a 45. You're also gonna need a this rubber hose that it comes with, the two hose clamps, and another quarter barb. Now this barb will attach to the 45. That 180 will attach to the last port on the tank, which is on this side. Now you can run the three the three ports with the 180s, you can run those however you want on the surge tank apparently. Um, the green one is the only one that needs to be with the 90 that goes to the uh, quick disconnect. And then this hose right here can be cut to fit however you want to run it and make it look good. Alright, so as you can see, all the lines are ran. Next we're going to take and install this hose clamp. Um, or hose, yeah, multiple hose clamp. We're going to take and put it up here, and then it's going to sit right about in this area. It's got two screws. We'll drill a little pile of holes, screw this in. Alright guys, so next up is we're just going to work on the wiring here. So you have a relay and a fuse. They are mounted to the bracket. Relay goes on top of the bracket. Fuse holder goes on the bottom. So the two orange wires, one's going to go to battery. One's going to go to the relay power, which would be one of these red wires. The other red wire will attach to the braided line that goes to the top of the fuel pump. And then the black wire on the relay and the black wire in that line right there will ground to where the battery grounds. So we'll make all of our connections, um, hook up the other orange line on the fuse holder to the power on the battery and then that'll give us power. The blue wire which will go into where the fuel pump is, the factory fuel pump, and then that will attach to the blue wire on the trigger for the fuel pump, or the signal wire, and then that'll pretty much run both of them. All right, we're all finished up on the uh, fuel search tank. Uh, not f finished up. We gotta take and prime the pump, uh, make sure that none of the lines are leaking, make sure everything is hooked up properly. Uh, then I'll gotta clean up some of the wiring a little bit and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna prime the fuel pump, make sure there's no leaks, and go from there.
up here. Um, don't have any leaks anywhere. I uh, need to seal up the the cover for the uh, fuel pump, and that's about it. Um, but looking back here, it's a pretty nice little setup. It goes in there pretty good. Um, I've got to cover up that wiring a little bit before I'm done, but you know, got no leaks in there. Uh, that's pretty good. Take you over here. Inside the door here, we don't have any leaks in here. Doesn't smell like fuel. All the lines are in good shape. Uh, this thing holds it down pretty good. Uh, so that's that's pretty much going to be a wrap on this one. Um, we'll get some video of it driving just to make sure everything works good. And oh, I can't think of anything else. So we'll wrap it up here. Um, Radium Engineering makes a great system. We'll see how it does on the track. Catch you guys next time.